I'm Chef Jasper Mirabile, and today's spotlight is on Strawberry Hill Povatica. And I'm here with Mark O'Leary, and boy, do I have a lot of questions about the history of this place. The smell is unbelievable, my friend. Well, thank you. It is uh, it's kind of an honor to be here and, and to be in Kansas City. You know, in 1903, my great great grandmother came to Kansas City with her recipe for povetita, and uh, this is this is what you see. No kidding. So it all started back in 1903 mm -hmm. with that recipe. Did she actually make it just for family then, or was it sold to people then? Well, here's here's the clue. You had to be somebody that was highly respected. So you had to be her postman, her trash man, her milk guy, and most importantly, her priest. Because no kidding. It was one of those things when it took all day. You'd gather four or five ladies together in your neighborhood. You'd stretch the dough. You'd make the filling. You'd get 10 or 12 loaves. and that was it. If you were a re recipient of one of those 10 or 12 loaves, you were aces in her book. Oh my gosh. Now, that went on and progressed to your father? Yeah, so my great-grandmother taught my grandmother how to make povetita, and that extended a little bit. And then once my parents got involved, they're like, hey, there's something to this. Let's respect everybody. So we started making 30 loaves a day uh, and, and here in Kansas City, and we sold those. We actually started off life selling out of the back of the van at the city market in stall number 84. No way. Okay, so the flavors. Now, of course you have the original, still the most popular. Absolutely, the English walnut is about 40% of what we make. Apple cinnamon is kids' favorite and number two, and then the remaining 15 or 16 flavors, depending on the season, are all over the place. Wow, that's something else. Well, as we walked in and even before the tour, I see all of these photos. What a history you have here. Sure, well, unlike your average restaurant that has bric-a-brac everywhere that they don't know who it is. Sure. These are family members. These are people that are very well respected that helped us where to get to where we're at today. I've got aunts and uncles, my fourth generation daughters on, on the wall, uh, all my children work in the call center and in the bakery. So, I mean, it's a family business. And then you even post the recipe out there. Now that's a great story, people walking by the recipe. I mean, it'd be like, you know, a restaurateur giving his famous recipe away in the restaurant on the menu. It's kind of neat because people will come in and they'll take their phone and they'll be like, snap, put the phone in the No way. Quick. <laughs> and it's right there by my office. So I look at them, I'm like, there you go. Yeah, you go ahead and make that, and I guarantee you'll be back to buy it from us from, from now on. Oh, so. that is something else. <laughs> it's well, so difficult to make, yeah. I can't imagine, and now we're inside the bakery, okay? Mm -hmm. It all starts in what area? Well, it starts early in the morning. We make our dough. And here's the secret to making a great povetita dough. Like most bakers, you would think you make a dough and you let it rise. Well, for us, we don't want it to rise. We take our dough and we put it in the walk-in cooler and we want it to stay nice and small. That way when we rolled it, it's easier to stretch, easier to roll, so thin that you can actually read a newspaper through it. Wow, okay, now I'm getting hungry otherwise we're talking right now. So then you take it to the table. You have four or five different tables. That's where the different fillings go on. That's right, so we'll start in the morning, we'll make our English walnut and then we'll make our poppy seed filling and some of the cream cheese fillings as well. And it's the same recipe though for the dough. That never changes. Dough is always the same recipe. A neat thing that a lot of people don't know is we are the 19th largest consumer of English walnuts on the planet. We buy them a rail car at a time, which is 84,000 pounds. Strawberry Hill Povetitsa. That's right. You gotta be kidding me. No, we get a roll too every time we go out to California to find our walnuts. I can imagine. <laughs> well, you know, now we're still in the bakery as we walk around. The ladies are all finishing their uh, povetitsa, putting them in the pans. But there's something about that tie, or what do you, what do you call that, that, that wrap, the way they put them in the pans. Well, basically when you roll a povetitsa, as you're rolling it, 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 it takes a, a jelly roll form, nice and long. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think that's where the technique is, and I kind of disagree with that. The technique is to be able to fold it in an S shape, and then to take that S shape and place it in the pan. Now, it's not a delicate process. No. Once we're done with that, we want to basically take a small pitchfork and put holes in it. Those holes allow the air to come out of the povetita when it bakes. I didn't realize that until I saw you do that. I thought you were knocking the dough down. Yeah, and then the last step is a little bit of milk. We use 2% milk on the top and it keeps the top two layers together because we don't want those coming off. And then it also browns up nicely. What a process. It is a process. It's something that, you know, this is our 37th year that we're going into. And um, 
once you do something for 37 years, I guess you get okay at it, right? It's a labor of love, it really <laughs> is. Well then, we went into the oven area and I didn't realize how many ovens you have here. You have the original oven, well I say the original, sure. from the first location. Yeah, our, our ovens are really neat. You know, you think that we have these newfangled ovens that do all this stuff. Our ovens are 30, 40, 50 years old. And those particular ovens, we've got nine of those ovens in our oven room. They bake somewhere between 90 and 180 loaves at a time. They're actually brick ovens which is really neat. It means it disperses the energy in the oven. It makes the loaf cook more evenly. You know, we couldn't make pova without them. You know, things don't change around here, do they? I mean, the same recipe, and we were talking about the consistency earlier when I was looking at you bake the walnut filling. That's right, yeah, nothing changes around here. Every once in a while, something changes. You know, our box has been its way for 30 years. The recipe hasn't changed. One thing that did change last year is we started making a couple of new items. Oh boy. So we don't do anything simple around sure, here. Sure, come on. So our coffee cake is layered, so we've got a streusel at the bottom. So we make a cinnamon cream cheese coffee cake. And then we also make a cinnamon walnut coffee cake with our walnuts. And it is fantastic. It's out of this world. No kidding. And then we started making cheesecake about this time last year. And we're now making somewhere between two and 4,000 cheesecakes a week now. Who would ever imagine? The thing about food is you have to have a fine balance. Think of a, a stool. You have three legs on that stool and it's got to have texture. It's got to have taste and it's got to stay for you and it's got to be good as you share it with other people. Well, I can only imagine what's on the horizon here. Something that's always working. I see that smile right now. Yeah, yeah. Something else is going on. Well, I was going through uh, one of the local mega warehouses this weekend and I actually took a Snapchat of a big pallet full of pumpkin spice coffee. Oh, boy. And I'm thinking to myself, here we go. Darn it, it's time. September is here, I mean. <laughs> That's right. Come on. So what we've done in, in normal strawberry hill fashion is now we're doing uh, our pumpkin spice coffee cake, which is fantastic. Oh. The cake is the pumpkin in oh, the Oh, stop, that. come on. So it's kind of like grandma's pumpkin cake, grandma's cinnamon rolls, and grandma's cheesecake got married and had a baby and that's, that's what you get <laughs> I absolutely love is it. that coffee cake and then we have the pumpkin uh cheesecakes which are fantastic and then the pumpkin spice povetizza which is out of this world wow doesn't get any better my friends mark o'leary of course strawberry hill povetizza it's available at your neighborhood hen house market mark thanks so much for letting me come absolutely. in letting our crew come in here and kind of disturb things a little bit but Boy, you walk around this place. I don't know how you do it every day. It's difficult, but I, I, I trudge through it, yeah. Well, just keep doing it, my friend. You got it.